Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know that is what is the concept of hydrolysis and in that case we have got to know that is uh, a solution can be uh, acidic or basic or can be neutral if we add a particular kind of that is salt and that makes the solution to be acidic or basic or we could call it as neutral. So now in this case we are going to talk about the hydrolysis of the salt uh, of a weak acid in strong base and what would be the effect of the solution. Let us talk about it. So now we are going to talk about the hydrolysis of the salt of weak acid and strong base. So in the previous lecture that we have did about uh, the salts and the types of salt. In that case we have got to know that is uh, when it comes to the weak acid and strong base derived salt then uh, that is the sodium acetate is the one that has been uh, a salt that has been derived from a weak acid and strong base. So that is the reason that I am going to explain about uh, the salt of that is CH3COONA. So this is the salt that we have and suppose if this undergoes dissociation because it is a strong lead right so obviously it will uh, undergo uh, ionization very easily. So therefore we could say that is it will convert into that is CH3COO- along with that of Na+. But the water molecule in which basically this salt has been dissolved so as to produce a hydrolysis so as to produce a reaction known as hydrolysis so in this case basically the H2 molecule that has been used it is not dissociated completely because a pure H2 is basically a weak electrolyte so therefore we could say that is H plus ion along with that of the OH minus ion will be uh, produced uh, and that will be in equilibrium. So what if we have added uh, that is CH3CONA uh, in water so in this case basically we could see that uh, there are four ions that would be produced as you could see because if we are adding that is CH3 uh, or sodium uh, acetate in water then we could see there are four ions that would be produced that is CH3COO- along with that of the Na+, H+, and uh, OH-. So this is the one that has been produced but the reaction of that is CH3COO- or this acetate ion would be more uh, with that of the H plus ion so as to produce a particular uh, weak acid uh, rather than that of the Na plus and the OH minus because their interaction will be not be more compared to this one and that's the reason that we could see there would be uh, a formation of a weak base and meanwhile there will be change in some kind of concentration of either H plus or OH minus so what is that let us talk about it so if we refer that is uh, this reaction then we could uh, get to know that is uh, the products uh, that are being obtained uh, or the species that are being uh, involved in after when uh, sodium acetate is dissolved in water so therefore we could get the species uh, that are basically CH3COO- along with that of basically Na+. And uh, even that has basically water in it so basically HOH is the one and because that is uh, not undergoing dissociation uh, not completely dissociated and that's the reason that we could get basically uh, when that is CH3 will react with suppose the hydrogen over here so that is the reason that we could get that is CH3COOH along with that of suppose NaOH but that NaOH that has been produced obviously that is a strong electrolyte so obviously we could say that uh, that NaOH will be uh, converted into that is Na plus along with that of the OH minus and uh, because of the strong electrolyte or because of the strong base that we have used so that is the reason that uh, Na will not combine with that of the OH minus ion uh, and so as to produce a base like NaOH so that is the reason that we could get this kind of equation but if we talk about this equation then this sodium which is present on the right hand uh, side or uh, in an equilibrium as we could see so therefore they both will cancel out each other as you could see over here so in this case we could see that uh, CH3COO- -O minus is reacting with HOH so as to form a weak acid that is CH3COOH that is acetic acid and in this case we could see that the OH- minus ion has been produced so I could write it in this way that is CH3COO- that is an acetate is it will react with that of the water and that is what we call as uh, the hydrolysis and uh, so as to produce basically CH3COOH along with that of that is OH- ion. So in this case if you observe that is the concentration of OH- ion is going on increasing because the water molecule itself consists of the H plus ion and that of the OH- ion. 
but that H plus ion is been consumed by this acetate ion so as to form a weak acid. So it is a weak acid that we know. But this OH minus ion, it has been independently uh, that is dissociated, and that's the reason that we could say uh, that the concentration of OH minus goes on increasing. And since the concentration of OH minus goes on increasing, we could say that the solution will become more basic in nature, in spite of having a weak acid. So that weak acid, it will dissociate into basically uh, CH3 uh, COO minus along with that of H plus, but that dissociation will not be that much compared to that of the OH minus ion that has been produced to a very much extent. So in this case we could see that the concentration of that is OH minus ion it will be more than that of the H plus ion that has been present in the water molecule so or uh, in the solution. So that's the reason that we could say that since the concentration of pH uh, pOH uh, is going on increasing so that's the reason that we could say that the value of the pH if you are talking about the pH scale so that will be more than 7 and that makes the solution to be more basic. So that is the effect of uh, uh, the hydrolysis of uh, a weak acid and a strong base and that makes the solution to be more basic. So that is what I wanted to talk about and that is the reason that we have did the concept of hydrolysis and now we have got to know that is how a salt can turn a, basically a solution like a water solution to be more basic in nature so that's it and uh, thank you friends uh, for watching this video i hope you have got this video very clearly and uh, you have got to know the concept behind this and i hope you will share this video with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe to channel. thank you so much